Hello and welcome to the new series of Drifty IS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about 5G technology rolling out in India. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS Mains Paper 3. So let's begin with why news. Now this topic is in the news because the Department of Telecom has said that we need a rolling out of 5G technology in experimental basis. This has been given to private telcos as well as government or state-run telcos. And India is set to play a decisive role in 5G era. It was set by Christ Secretary a few days ago. And yes, this is possible because of digitally oriented youth or we can call it demographic dividend that we have in the form of youthful population of our country. China has become the country which has the largest rolling out of 5G technology. And it has said a few days back, it has said that India not allowing it to have 5G trial on an experiment basis, on an experimental basis in the country of India, it's a huge cause of concern. While the Ministry of External Affairs has said the relationship with China of India is strained, it will be abnormal for it to have a regular relation in another domain with China. And U.S. lawmakers have applauded India's decision. Now, politics is being played, international politics is being played over Chinese involvement with India in 5G technology. Let's talk about the highlights of the news. Bharti Aethan, Reliance Shio Infocom and V, that is Vodafone India, as well as state-run telco, Mahanagar Telephone, Nigam Limited, to start trials for 5G technology as well as its applications in various sectors. Now, there are only three private telcos that are present in the country right now. Many have surrendered because of the low return and poor investments. And only two state-run telcos stay in line, such as MTNL and BSNL. They are also loss-making. The trials will last for six months from now. And in the initial phase, these trials will be for six months, which will include a two-month period for procurement and setting up of the equipment that is infrastructure. And telcos will be required to test their setup in urban, semi-urban as well as rural areas because certain areas, especially the semi-urban and rural areas, remain untapped. The telcos will be provided with experimental spectrum in various bands such as mid-band of 3.2 GHz to 3.67 GHz, the millimeter wave band of the given amount. And if we talk about 5G technology, this is the latest upgradation in the long-term evolution. And the millimeter wave spectrum if we talk about the 5G networks will operate in the millimeter wave spectrum upgraded long term evolution and internet speed in the high band spectrum of 5G internet speeds have been tested to be as high as 20 GB PS that is gigabits per second now if we talk about the high band spectrum this has a very huge pro that is having high speed but its cons is that it is not as it does not cover as large an area as the low band or mid band spectrum. Now, if we talk about bands in 5G, there are three, low, mid and high. So, low spectrum provides speeds such as 100 Mbps, but it has high coverage. So, it could be for those people who have a requirement of having a proper communication when it comes to talking on the phone, but they do not need a lot of use of internet. Mid-band spectrum also provides good coverage, but it not as good as the low one. And high frequency, it is going to provide as good a speed as 20 Gbps, but the coverage will be very low. So we need to understand that coverage is also very important. Let's move on and talk about the importance or uses of 5G. 5G will enhance existing and expand to new cases. These are the given scenarios. Let's move on and let's talk about 5G testing in India. Utility of 5G application combined with Internet of Things, Cloud, Big Data, Artificial Intelligence and Edge Computing, 5G could be a critical enabler for the fourth industrial revolution, 4.0. If we talk about a policy that is enabling for 5G, India's National Digital Communications Policy 2018 is in place, which highlights the importance of 5G when it states that the convergence of a cluster of revolutionary technologies, including 5G, the cloud, IoT and data analytics along with a growing startup community promises to accelerate and deepen its digital engagement and opening up a new horizon for opportunity providing 100% tele-density and high speed. If we talk about the hurdles in the rolling out of 5G technology, we need critical infrastructure. Infrastructure is a big, it provides a big lag when we talk about rolling out of 5G especially in the semi-urban and rural area. So, Infrastructure is of utmost importance and financial liability will also lie on the customers because in order for them to 
switch from 4G to 5G, we need proper cellular phones that are enabling in nature. That means it will burn a hole in the pocket of the consumer until and unless they are providing subsidies when it comes to 5G technology. Capital inadequacy because we do not have a lot of capital from the telecom department when it comes to 5G technology. This is also a hurdle. If we talk about the telecom sector in India, it all started in 1851 when the first electric telegraph line laid between was laid between Calcutta and Diamond Harbour and then in 1985 Department of Telecom was established and National Telecom Policy was launched in the year 1994. In 1997 TRI was formed and in 2013 100% foreign direct investment was needed because looking at the humongous population and India is only the second country in the world to reach 1 billion telephone subscribers in the year 2015. Moving on. Let's talk about the, our conclusion. Now, a lot of success depends on choosing the right architecture and deployment strategy in terms of spectrum choices because we need to have a proper return on per user. The private telcos as well as the state-run telcos need to have a proper cost-benefit analysis. And testing as they deploy is a highly recommended agile technique to ensure that they are building networks that deliver. This testing should not be a mere check of the quality of services as done in 4G, but a comprehensive measurement of user experience over the network, app and device all should be complementary in nature. Operators could benefit from adopting experience-focused testing in their overall deployment strategies so that they can test how the network built by them would perform when commercial traffic is opened on it. Let's look at our question. How would rolling out of 5G in India give a boost to the digital economy? You have to write this in 150 words. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.